we're go I'm gonna click on the weekend corner dance that moment. We have um, Sami Rekek and uh, Wal. Um, for Wal or Val? You can say Val. As in German. Val or Val. We have Dot. <laughs> who? Who? What? The duet proof like that. Hey Sverige and hello Eurovision fans. We are the dudes for the Eurovision channel that awards you 12 points. In our second video, we are going to talk about Melody Festival in 2021's rumored artists. And today I'm joined by Andrzej from Poland. And I'm Khan from Germany. And as, we, as I said, we are going to talk about Melody Festival artists and there are some returning artists in the lineup so it'll be an exciting um so so far what do we know about the melody festival in 2021 andre uh, we know that uh, there are up to 2747 submissions which mean that there are over 200 uh, submissions for uh, more than in a Melody Festival in 2020. Mm -hmm. And uh, it proves that uh, there is no rule uh, that pandemic made a change in the RS uh, submissions. And That's we right, know yeah. that uh, from previous years um, that artists will be revealed at the end of November. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like really soon. Uh, in like in a really short time, we'll be able to see who will participate yes. this year. Yeah. And it is also considered that uh, uh, there will be in a studio. Other than these statistics and information, we also know one singer that will take part in Melody Festival in 2021, and she's called Julia Alfreda. As you know, every year one artist is invited to Melody Festival and from the P4 Nesta uh, song contest. And this is a contest that is organized annually by the radio station. The main goal of the festival is to encourage more artists to take part in Melody Festival and also people to discover more young and newcomer artists. So this is actually a pretty big deal in Sweden. And every year we have, as I said, one artist from this contest. And this year it's Julia Alfreda who finished second this year in the song contest. Um, the reason why they didn't invite the first place um, to Melody Festival is that they, I mean, the Melo team has stated that they have trust in and faith in the style of Julia, and they say that she is an artist that pushes boundaries and norms musically. We also know that she is an LGBT artist, so um, in her in her songs. She always thematizes another topic from real life in one song, um, Dark Room, um, which she released, I think, 10 months ago or, or so. Uh, she talks about her men mental health. And um, in her latest uh, release, which is called um, Pretty Dreams Ego, um, she says, the song describes my feeling of doubting myself in one second and being very self-confident in the next. I also do a shout out to Britney Spears and the Free Britney movement. So like uh, from all these releases, we can say that she's very versatile and she like has a really artistic way uh, to express herself. She has also a really dark quality to her voice, which I'm really excited about because like in Melody Festival, and we have always like uplifting pop songs, schlager, country songs, 
but we don't really have dark songs. So we only have um, Yulia Alfreda as the confirmed artist, but excitedly we found out that the Mamas are reported to return to Melody Festival in this year after winning it last year. What do you think about the Mamas actually, Andrew J? I think more than 50% that they will come back and uh, they are known for being a part of uh, John Ludwig team in 2019. Um, an interview where they said that they are never tired of uh, winning. So, so I think they can manage to win again, but uh, they only won by one point with Dota and their style is really, I can say, good quality. Interestingly, one point means actually like more than 100,000 televotes, uh, which is like according to the new system. Um, so they have actually a fan base, although they are pretty new to the Swedish music scene, not um, individually, but as a group. Like we first uh, know them from, as you said, John Lundvik's backing vocals, vocalists in Tel Aviv. And then in 2020, they returned as, as a main act and they won over some really big fan favorites actually like uh, Robin uh, from 2017 was a really strong returning artist. Then we had Daughter and then Anna Bergendahl, who, is, who was going to take her revenge, actually, after 2010. And then Victor Krone, who took part in Eurovision 2019, just like the Mamas. So the lineup was full of really uh, talented and well-known artists, but they managed to win. But I think if they bring a good song, I think they have a big chance. They do have, but and now think that they are the only um, winners of uh, those um, competitions in Scandinavia that uh, didn't say that they won't compete, like uh, Benental in Denmark and uh, Uri Kane in yeah. Norway. And also Daddy Frey said that. Uh, but uh, he goes straightly to Eurovision and there is no uh, no competition there. The second artist that is rumored for Melody 2021, uh, it is uh, Dota and uh, she was competing uh, in uh, Melody Festival twice, uh, firstly in, uh, 2000, in 2018 where she sang Cry and she came fifth. She was considered as uh, the best from the semi-finals, but obviously she didn't manage to, to even go to a second chance episode uh, under Jason. And uh, in this uh, semi-final, uh, there was also Jessica Anderson, which uh, also is rumored for 2021 edition and uh, Mendes who competed also in uh, 2020 edition. So she was also in the uh, Melody Festival in 2020 with the song Bulletproof which was seen as the winner of the competition. And as we said before, she lost uh, her chance to be at uh, Eurovision 2020 with one point, but on the other hand, there is pandemic right now, so we can deal with that. By and the way, were you, were you team Move or team Bulletproof? I was team uh, Bulletproof, but after um, the Mama's win, uh, like in autumn, I started to like uh, really listen to the mood. After Daughter, we move on to another 2020 act that is returning this year. Um, she competed last year on her uh, debut year with Nobody. Of course, I'm talking about Clara Hammerström. Um, she finished fifth in the semi-final where she competed against some tough acts like 
Anna Bergendahl, daughter Alvaro Estrella and Paul Ray. So that was a that was a true bloodbath this semifinal. Her song um, was a cool pop song actually, like it was very melody festival and friendly. But as I said, the semi was tough, so her debut didn't go as uh, as successful as as planned. So I'm really curious to find out what she brings to the contest this year. Um, I think she'll have a good song, but. As I said, we will have our eyes on her and it will be interesting to watch. From 2020, we have another act that is returning. Who is it, Andrzej? It is Alvaro Estrella, who was singing, featuring Mendes' song, uh, Vamos Amigos. And uh, they were in Under Chasen and uh, they won the battle and came uh, eventually in Grand Final 11. Yeah. Um, and uh, he was also, I mean, Alvaro Estrella was in Melody uh, 2014 with uh, Bedroom. And uh, here we have uh, like another style in Ramos Amigos. It was uh, a Spanish song uh, because uh, he's uh, with Chilean origin, um, but uh, the earlier song is more a uh, melody friendly uh, song and it was good. It came uh, sixth in the uh, semi final, and I think if he uh, comes back uh, in the melody 2021. He also will have that song that will be like in the middle somewhere. Uh, not a favorite, uh, mm-hmm. not the best. Are you excited about his uh, comeback or is it just a, a spot filler for you? Like, I think it is a spot filler, but a little bit I am excited if uh, he will come back with a strong song. From Alvaro, we move on to Paul Ray, who is also reported to return to Melody Festival. And after one year, he competed also in 2020 um, with Talking in My Sleep. The song was actually a uh, really um, radio friendly, but I don't think it's competitive enough for Eurovision. And also it didn't win in the end, which also um, proves that. Um, Paul is actually an artist that I listen to on my daily basis, but not his mellow song. Um, he has some cool songs like Soldier, um, All Falls Down. I mean, I've discovered him before his Melody fest- Festival and participation. And his, um, I mean, when I saw his name in last year's lineup, I was really excited because I thought he would win this. But Talking in My Sleep was pleasant to listen to but nothing else for me his songs are like more gospel and dark as we also uh, saw last year so in terms of genre i like him but the song last year didn't really appeal to me but i'm also uh, curious to find out um, this year's entry so yeah another artist that is uh, returning is uh, jessica anderson which is known for being part of fame uh, between uh, 2003 and 2006. Mm-hmm. Uh, she managed uh, with the group uh, to be fifth in uh, Eurovision 2003. So obviously she won uh, the Melody Festival in that year. And as a fo- solo artist, she was five times in Melo in 2006, uh, 2007, 2010, 2015, and 2018. In all of uh, those uh, melody festivals, she didn't manage to get high places. Uh, she came a few times to the finals, but with a low uh, position. Um, like uh, last two times, she was 11. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. uh, in 2018, 
uh, she uh, beat it, uh, daughter and was better with uh, party boys which i think it is uh, a good uh, song has a power she uh, sings uh, songs that uh, has this power but... I, I really love party boys and the lyrics when once i listen to them the lyrics get in my head and they stay in my mind all day long like gonna dance like a mother you'll hear my party boys i'll take that party boys because like it's really catchy and it's like your melody festival and schlager feel good pop song and it has to be there like yes uh, jessica anderson is not uh, i think favorite uh, according to her new uh, releases mm-hmm. but if she comes back with something similar to the party voice we can uh, talk more seriously yeah. Her song in 2015, Can't Hurt Me Now, was a ballad actually. And then she took this change to her style and then come back with a pop banger. Um, I think I connect her with more like this Europop, schlagery, Swedish feel good song. So Party Boys kind of song would be really fitting to her this year, I think. Yeah, see. Uh... A quick mention about Melody 2015 uh, that uh, she competed in uh, the semi-final where also was Eric uh, Sade. So we can uh, move on to Eric uh, Sade. Yeah. So sure. you can continue. You, we first met him with Melody uh, Festival in 2010 and, her, um, and his song Man Boy. He finished, I think, um, third place. Um, and I still listen to that song. It's like super catchy. Man, boy, man, boy, you can call me man, boy. And then in 2011, he returned to contest stronger with popular. And then he went on to represent Sweden in Dusseldorf edition of the contest. Although being a fan favorite, he finished only third place. I say only because like 2011 was one of the weakest years in terms of song quality. And um, surprisingly, Azerbaijan won in the end and Italy finished second. So these two were really surprising um, according to the betting odds. He reached the grand final once again, but in the end he finished only fifth. Um, So obviously he didn't make it to Eurovision that time. Um, But... He's one of the artists that I'm most excited about because, you know, Eric Sade was once people's biggest Eurovision crush ever um, in Eurovision 2011. Melody Festival and Nordic fans will be the ones that are most happy to see him back. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. About I have to disagree Eric. with you because I don't think, uh, I feel that... Uh, it is a good uh, return because uh, when I listen to popular, I, I think uh, it's really uh, popular uh, and I want to listen the vibe, but uh, the song from Melody 2015 and his new releases from 2011, I don't think uh, are good enough and I'm not curious to listen to them. So you say he lost his um, popularity. He lost his popularity, and also he doesn't have this um, wave behind him this time. Yes, like it was base. like a one-time uh, win. And he's now 30 years old, so he's more mature. He has a different style, uh, for sure. Um, yeah, I understand your point. Yeah. So. Um, I think we finished with the returning artist. Now we no, have... No, no. Didn't? Oh, Arvin Garna, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Arvin Njarna, uh, which is translated to Inheritors. It is um, a Swedish uh, pop rock band. Yeah. And uh, they competed in uh, Eurovision back in 1993, so a long time ago when there was no semi-final and uh, they came uh, seventh 
that time and uh, they had this year the first uh, melody festival experience also and others were in 1995, 1999, 2002, and uh, the recent one in 2019. This year, they came uh, sixth with uh, their song, uh, but uh, didn't make uh, again a win, obviously. Uh, they beat uh, like uh, very known Anna Brendan Dach with uh, super catchy Ashes to Ashes, which I'm listening to again and again. Arvin Yarna. Too, yeah. I love that song, yeah. Uh, Arvin Yarna is um, very uh, Swedish pop artists like from uh, 2000s uh, their style is and uh, when they came uh, back to the Melody Festival in 2019 they managed uh, besides of the competition to be fourth and fifth in some Swedish charts so they are still popular. Personally I don't like these kind of songs um, because it's obvious that they will not go to Eurovision, and instead of this song, we could have had uh, another competitive entry, for example. So this is just for the entertainment of the local people, like it appeals more to Swedish people than the international fans. Uh, so okay. now we have ended with the returning artists, and we'll go to the newcomers. Yeah, um, I'd like to quickly mention Samex. Um, who um, won the Swedish Grammy uh, Award in 2017. Another song. And, um, yeah, I mean, neither, there, but I, I think uh, from the pictures of the band, I can tell that they are like a country band or something like that. I mean, it's also not for the international mainstream music yes, fans. So it's just like the taste is like more local in this act. So I don't also see this going through Europe, going to Eurovision. Again. It is this um, sweet Nordic style of this uh, Nordic country music, which yes, is definitely. so um, Nordic and just Nordic. Uh, other than that, we have um, Tusa, if you want to uh, mention him. Yeah. I will mention because I really listen to him every single song from the idol and I was shocked wow. from the auditions how he is good. Well, wow. let's see if he will bring something good also to Melody Festival. Yeah, he's an interesting act because like he has um, he has some Congolese origin, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes, he has uh, Congolese, um, but he knows uh, Swedish uh, very well. He is uh, an idol winner uh, from yeah. 2019, and mm -hmm. uh, I listened to him, uh, and from the very first audition, he was so professional. Uh, I think uh, because of... Uh, his first song that was released in 2018. Mm -hmm. And every time he sang uh, in the idol, he was really smashing all the songs. Even uh, Rise Like a Phoenix, which appeared. And. Uh, of course. Yeah. We, and uh, he uh, was the favorite then. And uh, it's, it was good. Uh, for him to win that year. So, um, lastly, we have Sami Rekik and Val uh, in the lineup as a rumored artist. Both are uh, Swedish hip hop and rap uh, artists. They are coming from different duos, actually. Sami Rekik was um, a part of the duo Medina, and Val from Sondre Sidan, I think. 
Um, so yeah, they just uh, have their um, careers and they collaborate on this song in Melody Festival in 2021. Um, I don't know a lot of things about them, but um, it'll be interesting also that um, this uh, two people uh, collaborate on one song. Um, I think we mentioned all of the artists and uh, tried to cover them all. Um, let's just remem remember that these are uh, just the rumored artists so far, so uh, it's not 100% guaranteed that they will take part, but um, you know, Aftonbladet, the uh, Swedish uh, newspaper, is really good at predicting uh, melody festival and acts, and these acts were taken from that newspaper, so um, so yeah, these were the acts that are rumored to take part in Melody Festival in 2021, uh, Sweden's um, traditional national final. Um, yeah, so we hope you enjoyed this episode, and this is our second video on YouTube. Today I was joined by Andrzej from Poland, and um, so 12 points to you. Mm -hmm.